Hi, my name's Allie, and I wanted to sit here and share with you all how the anointing has changed my life forever. Uh, when I was young, my I lived in a pretty standard normal home. Both my parents worked. It was, it was a good home. Um, unfortunately, they separated and it left quite a division within our house, but I was fortunate to live next door to this sweet, sweet family. And they were very involved in their church and they had invited me. I tagged along with their church, to their church services, to their youth groups, I really plugged in. And, um, and I loved it and I remember one summer we had a youth retreat and um, I received salvation and it was wonderful, but for me at that time, I didn't really have a true understanding of what a relationship with the Lord is and what that had, was to look like. So um, as I got older, uh, the world looked a lot more desirable to me. So I dove in real hard. Teen years, I dove in super hard into uh, drugs. I fell hard into a drug addiction. I was strung out on heroin and all these other things and it left its mark on me. Because I was in this stuff, I was putting my myself in a hard place with really hard people and it burned me. I was left with uh, severe depression and I had a lot of anger and a lot of rage and a lot of shame for things that I had done, things that had happened to me in that time. And I, I really didn't know what to do with that. And so um, I just kind of stuffed that down and kind of tried to go on about my way. And uh, about a, a few years after that, I uh, met my husband and we had a period of time where we were living for, in the world together. And <laughs> we were quite a hot mess but it came to a point where he had his own encounter with the lord with the, his presence and we recommitted ourselves um, to the lord and we got ourselves into a holy spirit filled church and meanwhile i still had all this um, depression and this this just weight on me and i i didn't know how to get rid of it i didn't know why i was still dealing with it and um, I was really, it built up like a frustration in me. And um, I remember I, well, I desired to be baptized in the Holy Ghost and I wanted to, you know, have that, that prayer language and I wanted to have that connection and I couldn't, I couldn't do it and I wasn't receiving it. And I remember I would have like all these thoughts like, you know, you're fake, you're phony, this isn't, you're not doing something right, you don't really love the Lord and you know, just all these thoughts from the enemy, of course. And um, things really came to a head. I started having really demonic dreams at night. Um, I was being almost terrorized, I would say, at night. I was having all these um, horrible encounters and it would grip me with fear, like intense, intense fear. And um, it all came to a head. Uh, one night I had the, the most horrific nightmare I have ever had and I remember waking in the morning and calling my husband and I was shaking on the phone. And I'm like, I, I don't know what this is, but this has to stop. So that night in our living room, we were praying and we had um, a few of our friends, faith-filled friends with us and we were all praying and I remember calling out to the Lord and praying and say, whatever this is, I don't want it anymore. I don't want this. And I know that you can take it away. And at that moment, I had this suddenly and the presence of God filled our living room, fell right over me. The anointing burned out every foul thing that the enemy had me wrapped up in. Depression broken like that, rage, anger, it all just burst forth out of me and gone up into the wind. It was the most amazing, exhilarating, loving experience I've ever had in my life. His perfect presence drove it all out. And I immediately, I, I was baptized in the Holy Ghost. I was praying in tongues. Um, the joy hit us all in our living room. It was, it was so powerful. And I remember that night then I slept like a million dollars. I slept the best I have ever slept in my life that night. I woke up feeling like a million dollars. And I remember l driving somewhere, I was running errands, I guess. And 
I remember looking around and thinking, wow, like everything just looks different. I felt so loved and light and seen after that. I love the testimony that one of uh, the women at the RCB outreaches had given, I believe it was Gilmore Homes, and she, she was hit by the power of God. And when she woke up, she said, everything looks different. And the moment, every time I hear that, when they play that video, it, it, oh my goodness, I just melt into a puddle because I remember that exact feeling. I have that feeling now. I know that things are different, that I no longer have those weights on me, that it burned, it just burned right out of me. The a scripture that I hold on to is Luke 5, 12 and 13, and it talks of the man with leprosy and he seeked out the Lord. And he goes to him and he says, Lord, if you're willing, I know you can heal me. And he reaches out and he touches him and he says, I am willing, be cleansed. So goodness, I hold on to that. I'm, if you are need and some if you are in need of something today, seek him. I encourage you, seek him with all that you have, all that you are. Seek him and receive because he is willing. There's no need to question. There's no, if it's the Lord's will, it is the Lord's will. He is willing. It says it right there in the word. Depression, heaviness, uh, lack, poverty, any of that. None of that is our portion. We're not meant to roll through life with all of that. That is not our inheritance. And it says, I am willing. He is willing. So whatever you need, seek him and receive because he's there and he is willing.